Driving. It's something most of us do. Not all of us very well, of course. But there's one thing we all have to do before we get the privilege to legally drive on the British roads. That is, of course, learning how to drive. Um. It took me six months, two theory tests, two driving instructors and two practical tests before I was a legally qualified driver. And then it took me a further year of reteaching myself how to drive because my driving instructors cut some integral corners. But I'd like to think none of that would be possible without what you're about to see. The first time I ever drove a car. <laughs> So I thought I'd react to the first time I ever drove a car. That's a lie. I technically don't have a video of the first time I ever drove a car, but the video we will be reacting to was the third time I've driven a car. So it's basically the same time. I'd only had two driving lessons prior to this video being taken, and it was the first time me driving this car and driving an automatic. The car in question was a 2005 Ford Fiesta that my friend owned. My friend had the privilege of being a year older than me, so already had a car. This wasn't any Fiesta though, this was when car manufacturers were being weird. Ford decided to release the Fiesta with a manual gearbox, a normal automatic, 4 speed, and this fancy new thing which clearly never caught on because they're not doing it anymore called a Durashift gearbox which is basically just a normal manual gearbox but the clutch is automatically done by the computer it sounds like an automatic and it, it basically is there's still two pedals but there is no park and it rolls backwards on hills which technically means this 1.4 litre Ford Fiesta is the same as an Aventador because that had a robotized manual gearbox in it Yes. Now I think this video was filmed in 2018 or may have been early 2019 after college one day. One of my friends asked said friend with the vehicle, oh can I drive the car? And he said that he would let her drive it and then of course I asked and he was polite enough to let me drive it too. I only crashed it three times so he doesn't regret his decisions. Probably. Created 6th of February 2019. That is... Fuck I'm old. It's, 2000... it's 2024 now. Shit. I need to grow up. And my driving hasn't even got any better. Oh no. And considering it's February now, that's five years ago. Oh my God. It was before the spicy virus. My God. What time to be alive. As I've said, I probably haven't watched this video in a long time. Um, reason for that is I probably went to, tr to re-watch it, you know, for the nostalgia. Like a year or so ago and then instantly turned it off because my voice was annoying. So I can guarantee my voice, my cadence and just my dialect as a whole will piss me off. It may be a bit squeaky but also it'll be really cringe. Because I wasn't even an adult in this video. Damn. Now I'm legal. Okay. I'm low-key terrified. Four minutes and 50 seconds of pure cringe and shit driving. Now all I have to do to commence the cringe is untangle some headphones. I'm gonna try and enjoy this, but like I said, I'll die of cringe. I hate cringe. Also, ignore my clothing too, because I have a bright orange hoodie and I can guarantee the shoes I'm wearing look terrible. Oh, and I've just noticed I've got my college lanyard on. So I'm gonna bait out where I went to college. Why is your probably. brake pedal so thick? There's several things. First time in an automatic, so that's why I was confused by the brake pedal. You, know what? you heard what I said to Lucy, right? Yeah, that's somewhat this one. Well, wait, no, I want to try first. Keep your foot on the. Yeah, it's on the brake. You have to twist the steering wheel that way, obviously. Wait, no. Again, two lessons, so I don't understand how to steer in reverse. I don't even know if I have reverse at this stage. Twist the, twist the steering wheel. No, more, <laughs> a lot more. A lot more. I feel sorry for my friend who had to give me instructions. You see what I mean? Yeah. Oh, look at my goofy face. I touched. It's heavy. Yeah, I like it like that. I touched the indicator because I don't know what to do. Look at my arms, Jesus! What am I doing? Be the good one. <laughs> I was worse. <laughs> As my friend just commented, I was worse at driving than the friend who drove before me in this car who hadn't had any driving lessons prior to this. And I am all over the place with the steering wheel. No wonder it took me six months to fucking pass. <laughs> Don't hit her car for the love of oh, God. Oh yeah, my friend's car was parked there as well. <laughs> that would be well deserved. Is she good? Okay, okay, cool. Onwards. We're in a car park, by the way, so it's totally legal. Private property in that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at me indicating! Oh, yo! My steering is still so off. My steering... Thing is, yeah, with my steering, which I didn't quite understand, I didn't know how much you'd have to... Because I knew that the most cars, their steering wheel rotates two and a half to three tur full turns, yeah? 
So I didn't know how much I'd have to turn it to do different, you know, to go around a right angle corner or to go around a roundabout. So I was scared of not steering too much and then panicking and steering too much afterwards when it's too late or steering too much originally and then just going into a hedge or something. But so far I haven't crashed, so that's something good, right? I'm gonna line up with the curb so I know how far I can go. I was always scared. What I said there was I'd line up with the curb. What I meant was like to get a reference point on the fucking, I don't know. I was just, I was always scared. And to be fair, my first year and a half of driving, I was really shit at like, get used to the width of a car. As this was my third time driving and in a different car, I didn't have a clue where the front left wheel was. That's the one I always struggle with. I never know where that wheel is. I do now, to an extent. In some cases, when I'm in a car crash, it's in the air. <laughs> When I first started driving and in my tests and my lessons and everything, I always struggle with placing that wheel. I hit a lot of curbs. All right, we're only a minute and 50 seconds into this. So three minutes left. <sighs> I've already embarrassed myself enough. To the curb so I can see. I'm just chatting pure shit. I feel sorry for my friend in the passenger seat. He doesn't have a clue what I'm on about. Easy. I want an automatic now. No, I don't, please. <laughs> but it's so much more fun to drive a manual. I mean, I see what you mean by that, but like still. He says this, but this friend, this friend now owns an, oh shit, he did, it got written off. He did own an automatic for a long time, so. But a lot of people nowadays are just getting just automatic licenses. And honestly, I don't blame them, especially with all the electric car shit that's coming out. You can't get an, a manual electric, and there's no point in a manual electric. Electric motors don't need gearboxes, because they've got such a vast rev range. It's just a bit sad though, because that's what we had over the Americans, that none of them knew what a clutch pedal was, unlike us in Europe, but now, um, be joining them sadly yeah stay to the left please my steering that's what i mean i don't know what i'm doing i'm waving because there's another driving so that's so yeah, cringe that's, got that that's so cringe <laughs> i'm indicating see i look i got i got a lot better at steering just in that turn there so it's still a bit dodgy but a lot better than the fucking previous one because i got used to how much i need to turn the steering wheel for a corner I can't place myself on the road because I'm constantly moving the steering wheel too. Yeah, I actually do. Oh, I think I'm going to park. What is- What am I doing? <laughs> no! Sorry, no not your what the fuck? <laughs> in my instructions. <coughs> what was that? Oh my god. I'm flailing around the fucking indicator like I'm drunk. Again, 17, so I don't even know what alcohol was at this stage. Yeah, we've got to rewind that. For those who like cringe, enjoy this. This is just a BMW driver trying to use an indicator. That's all this is. Look at me steering as well. What is my steering? Look, look, look how I wiggle the steering wheel to go around the corner. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, I'm still wiggling the steering wheel. I'm waffling on about something. Oh my god, there we go. the line. that was an edge and a half. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was I, a hop. I like my edges. What can that I say? That was a hop, that went an edge. <laughs> what can I say? I'm embarrassing myself for your lot's entertainment. Okay, so you're welcome because this is so cringe if anyone needs proof that they've grown up or that they've changed and developed Just watch a video of you having a conversation five years in the past Because you will say things that you would never say today and I'm not saying like outrageous unpolitically correct things I mean just waffle you just waffle about nothing What was that steering movement? No, I like the fact I'm just pretending like I didn't just have to fucking volley the steering wheel into a different dimension My friend is wishing he had a driving instructor car and had his own pedals to just stop what's happening that <laughs> Ignore what I'm saying because like fuck like knows what I'm on about. I like my edges. Look at the steering again What was that? He's like I'm scared of the steering wheel Try and park then in the next one. Right, oh great now I'm parking just, just fucking hell. It's like there's no hat. There's no stress or anything there's no stress. Yeah, to be fair, even in my final driving test, I still stalled. So I didn't stop stalling until I actually drove and then had to teach myself because my driving instructor was shit and taught me to diesel dodge. But if you're learning to drive, make sure your driving instructor has a petrol car because then they can't teach you to diesel dodge and you get taught how to drive correctly. Damn. The steering! Oh, I can't go in a straight line, that's the thing. We're talking about driving here, by the way, and it doesn't... Doesn't mean anything. Just don't else. crash my car, and I don't care. Really? <laughs> really? I mean, you should have said that. What is this? Let's say thirty, just because yeah. I don't know the 
speed limit and black box. Oh, I'm going fast. Okay, what is the steering? Oh <laughs> what the fuck? I'll go to say hello to my friends. Hey, yo, what one? How's it going, though? Huh? I need to try. I want to try it before. Keep, no, 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 keep going, keep going. No, we'll go that way a little bit. At least my friend's teaching yeah, me. At least go. he got taught well. No, 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 I planned it. I planned oh. it like this. I planned it like this, though. I planned it like this. Look at this. Well, let me head forward. Let me head forward, though. Oh, my God. No, no, oh, look at forward. that park no, it. Yeah. How's it going, though? What? Ah! Oh. Missed your eyes. The car. <laughs> <laughs> it's an automatic. <laughs> oh, and I think I think I didn't realise that you had to put the. Obviously, it doesn't have a park this car, but you have to secure the car so it doesn't fucking keep creeping forwards. No, no. I'm gonna reverse it into them. No, I'm gonna no, reverse it. Oh. Not into them. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just threw to crash into my friend's car. With my friend's car. It yeets, you know. It yeah, yeets. It just yeets. It just yeets. I'm getting overly. You can tell I'm really excited well, we'll by driving this car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what I'm assuming happened is I left it in reverse, didn't put it in neutral and put the handbrake on, and it's just jolted backwards. And I probably fucking nearly hit the curb at a tree. <sighs> it's my dash camera saying goodnight. What a fucking video. I think we need to see when I crashed at the end. I didn't crash, but I'm gonna say, actually, I think I may have hit the curb. Oops. Well, we'll slow down, then we'll hit the thing. Okay, here it is. Sorry. <laughs> you could tell that was genuine sorry as well because of my total voice. I was like, shit, I didn't mean to do that. What a time to be alive that was. 2019, whipping around in a 1.4 Fiesta with like 70 brake horsepower. But all I want to do in this video, number one, embarrass myself. Number two, relive the nostalgia before the spicy virus times. And number three, I want to say that we improve as humans, okay? That's the moral of the story. We improve in all aspects, okay? How we speak, as I said, being less cringe, hopefully. Better driving, crashing less, wait, no. Uh, I failed in that department, shit.